and highlights of a two-ring, over-the-top rope, triple chance battle royal. That's just a few things we'll be seeing during the next hour. Approaching the podium right now is indeed the Tennessee stud, Ron Fuller. Yes, yes, and I want to... Why don't you show a little respect out there? Shut your mouth! I'm out here for a reason. My attorneys, Snidely, Snidely, and Whiplash, some of the greatest attorneys in the country, have seen to it. I know Gordon Soley, Bob Armstrong was supposed to have been reinstated this week. In the well, I was just going to make that announcement that Bob Armstrong will be reinstated. Oh, nay, 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 he will not be reinstated because my attorneys have seen to it that his... He will be extended, his term away will be extended another six months because, my man, the flame is not allowed back, Boomer H. Lynch is not allowed back, and because of that, my lawyers have seen to it that Bob Armstrong will not be allowed back to Continental Area for at least another six Look, Wait a minute. You know, Bob Armstrong may not be here for another six months, but the bullet is still here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second, Chip. You got... What did you got? Don't you get out of here? You well... Why don't you come back out it here? It looks to me... Well, I'll tell you what. Bob Armstrong may be banished, but... The bullet is still here, and apparently... The bullet is here to stay. Let's go to our first match, shall we? Wrestling Team 2, the winners will receive... $50,000. And the battle royal is underway now. Remember, it's a two-ring triple chance battle royal. And a host of competitors in there. You get one chance going into the second ring. You must go over the top rope into the second ring. You battle it out there. The last two remaining in the second ring and the last two remaining in the first ring battle it out. And the winners of that triple chance uh, then become the winners of the battle royal and they divide the fifty thousand dollars and so far nobody has been eliminated or put over the top rope into the second ring remember if you go out anywhere but into the second ring you may enter the ring again one man down we've got two men down but they're not in the uh, second ring yet and so the battle continues before a capacity crowd and there's one man out but remember now he did not go out over the top rope into the second ring and so they battle outside the ring Match goes on anywhere, but they must go from the first ring to the second ring and then to be eliminated. And uh, still, nobody out. Fourteen men battling out at one time. $50,000 to the winning team. And still, nobody eliminated. And uh, battles going on to the left, battles going on to the right, battles going on in the middle. While Bill Tabs looking good out there. Ooh, Tabs got caught with a haymaker. Wrestling two in trouble. On the ring apron now, trying to bring himself back up. Full body slam, a body press. Wait a minute, they're all piling on. All right. We've got a mound of humanity. Stacked up on one opponent, one competitor. And the battle royal wages on. And the first man is down and out and in a lot of trouble. While Bill Tabb still looking extremely good over in the far corner. 
Golden is caught. Golden could be in trouble. We might have some early eliminations here. Tim Horner looking good against Wrestling 2. Wrestling 2 catches him. There's Tom Pritchard trying to get in a cheap shot on Tommy Wildfire Rich. And you've got fists flying everywhere. One man being removed from the arena. Got another one in the ring two now. Now wrestling two in ring two. And that battle continues. So we've got two men in wrestling in ring two. One man totally eliminated. Hey, wait a minute. Wrestling two after the mask of the bullet. And now it's the bullet after the mask of wrestling too. Wrestling two is out and Mr. eliminated. Wrestling two has been eliminated. The bullet has been eliminated. The bullet and wrestling two. Wrestling two, rather, still battling it out outside the ring. They are both eliminated, however, from the action. So you have one man in uh, ring two. The balance in ring one, except for those who have been eliminated. Wild Bill tabs into uh, ring two. And they immediately set upon him. He was stunned going in. A special hi to Marty and Karen Hood, Hartsville, Alabama, enjoying the matches uh, here today. All right, Tabs catches his man. More action in wrestling uh, in wrestling ring number one, and in wrestling ring number two. Three people already totally eliminated. Dabs looking good now. We've got some more men in ring two. Remember, they must go from ring one to ring two. Ring two over the top rope to the outside, and they are eliminated. The last four remaining will be the four that will battle it out for the $50,000. And we see uh, one man being smashed into the uh, ring post on the outside. And most of the action now still taking place in ring one. Wendell Cooley looking extremely strong. Ted Oates has been eliminated. Another one eliminated. Brad Armstrong has been eliminated. And so, while Bill Tabb still looking good in that ring number two. Ring number two beginning to fill up and we've got him outside the ring now. Jerry Stubbs and Brad Armstrong battling it out. Up here six are going on between those two. Down to the concrete outside the ring. We've got the action going from ring one to ring two. A two ring battle royal here on Continental Championship Wrestling. continues and it looks to me like we're going to have to cut away for a commercial break should the match end while we're gone away we'll bring you a complete instant replay of the ending of the match but right now we'll be back in just 120 seconds or so back in action now and as you can see even more people have been eliminated now one more in the wrestling ring number two and Lancaster after him. 
So Golden and Fuller are left in ring number one. Golden and Fuller left in ring number one. Ladies and gentlemen, it will be Frankie and there's the a Lancaster and Tommy Wildfire Ridge of the team against the team of luscious Robert Fuller and gorgeous Jimmy Golden. Tag okay. match rules are in effect. All right, so the Tennessee stud down there, uh, and you've got a most unusual situation here as Golden and Fuller move into ring number two. Moving up against uh, Rich and Lancaster. Lancaster outside. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is turning into a situation of two on one. And Lancaster leaving. Rich is out there all by himself. Tommy Rich all by himself. Fuller and Golden have got it made as far as I can see. The Tennessee stud led Lancaster away. And so Tommy Rich has no partner. We as good as got the money, boys. We got the money. You can hear Ron Fuller, the Tennessee stud, making some comments. Wait a minute. Tag is made. Tommy Rich. His face a crimson mask. Facing unbelievable odds here. 14 man, two ring, triple chance battle royal. Tommy Rich against Robert Fuller and uh, Jimmy Golden. He's got him down for a pin. Broken up by the stud. No question, although he couldn't see it clearly, he was definitely broken up by the stud. Again, the tag is made. Fuller and Golden have it all their way at this point in time. Tommy Wildfire, it's collapsing. And again, Rich powers out just barely. The Tennessee stud has things going his Wait a minute! That time, Jimmy Golden breaking it up. Robert Fuller almost pinned by Tommy Rich. Tommy Rich catches him coming in. Catches him again. Great second effort. He's landing some hard right hands. Side headlock. Rich fires him off. Both men catching it. Fuller and Golden, Fuller and Golden still in charge. Tennessee stood out there administering aid. The neck breaker. Oh, wait a minute. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fall of the match in a $50,000 Tommy Rich, Tommy Rich has just literally taken the bread out of the mouths of Jimmy Golden and uh, Robert Fuller. Tommy Rich beating insurmountable odds takes the victory. But I'm going to tell you the damn thing that makes the whole thing about it. We go party tonight on that 50. The Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, Rod Fuller, you take your whole damn bunch, Jack. The only thing we want out of the stud stars is in Southeastern tag title. Anytime, anywhere, any place. You're not busting my face on Swint on bottom. We come back to blood and time. Let's turn it back to the ring. It's been said, even the best laid plans often fall. Jones, anytime! Jones, anytime you want to touch the title! It's now! It's anytime you want it, baby! You 
Ladies and gentlemen, the first team has entered the wing at a combined weight of over 1,000 pounds. Here is the Tennessee Stud Stables, Mr. Perfect Jerry Stubbs, Mr. Wrestling number two, and the combination of gorgeous Jimmy Golden and the luscious one, Robert Fuller. And ladies and gentlemen, their opponents are making their way to the ring. They weigh the combined weight of over 1,100 pounds. Here is the team of Johnny Crash Rich, Tommy Wildfire Rich, the Bullet and Brad Armstrong. Six are breaking loose. Eight man tag team match. And they are separating the men from the boys in a hurry. Two rings, but this eight-man tag is in one ring. Well, let's see what happens now. Wrestling two, Mr. Olympia Jerry Stubbs, luscious Robert Fuller, and gorgeous Jimmy Golden. Against the Bullet, Brad Armstrong, Tommy and Johnny Rich. Eight-man tag team action. Waiting now for uh, action to get underway. A special high to Wayne Golden. Robert Fuller apparently unhappy with uh, certain things that are taking place. Eight-man tag team action. Well, let's see what happens now. He said special hi to Wayne Golden in Brent, Alabama.
wrestling two in the ring. Let's see where we start from here. And so, Jerry Stubbs in the battle against Brad Armstrong. High, high backdrop. Beautiful drop kick. That almost tore his head off. Broken up by Jimmy Golden. in the ring ready to go the referee tolling the count that's referee Roy George uh, once again they square off collar and elbow luscious Robert Fuller against uh, Brad Armstrong and he's got Brad Armstrong in the side headlock Fuller Looking extremely strong at this point in time. Fires him off the ropes. Ruffs back to the opposite side. Good counter and a high hip toss. Into a flying drop kick. Caught him in the shoulder. Remember, we're in eight man tag team competition. Something you very rarely see on television wrestling. Tommy Rich moves in. Let's see who his opponent is going to be. trying to get somebody in there all right Robert Fuller they lock up collar and elbow ah Jimmy Golden getting in a cheap shot there and it's a uh, Fuller catching Golden well sir Tommy Rich wreaking a bit of havoc here during this eight man tag Dan Fuller looked like he was about to break into tears outside. He is a total study of frustration. trying to take advantage of some time here trying to break the momentum of uh, the riches and uh, bullet and Brad some hurried comments from uh, ringside Tommy Rich up and over his man. Tommy Rich vertical body block. Broken up. That normally would be a pinning combination for Tommy Rich. Johnny Rich out there now. Johnny Rich as gorgeous Jimmy Golden in trouble carries him back to the canvas once again drives a knee into the biceps
keeping him tied up. We're going to have to cut away here for a commercial break. Should a pinfall or submission occur while we're uh, away for this commercial break, we'll bring it to you on instant replay. We'll be back with more action in this eight-man tag team match right after we pause for these words. We'll score a pinfall, although we just saw a near fall. As the eight-man tag team match action continues, And it has been a very even match thus far. Neither team able to really gain any extreme advantage. Although Johnny Rich in trouble right now. Lots of punishment being meted out at this point. Jerry Stubbs out there now, Mr. Olympia against Johnny Rich. High backdrop has Rich in trouble. Stubbs drives a fist hard into the head. Uh, Johnny Rich almost had a freak out, almost a freak out. And it was Rich. Drop kick coming off the ropes, well executed. Tag is made. Jimmy Golden moving in now, an Irish whip on Johnny Rich. Bottom of the drop kick coming off the ropes. Still not able to get that freak down. Party once again. are breaking out now. We got them all in the ring at the same time. We've got all eight men in the ring battling it out. And let's see if anybody's going to be able to get a pinfall or a submission hole out of this. Wild and woolly action now as the eight-man tag team match continues. rings as a matter of fact let's see what happens next we've got people down and possibly out got a three count got a three count On Johnny Rich for the official word. Let's turn it over to our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time of 14 minutes, 36 seconds. The fall and the match go to the Tennessee Stud Stable. Mr. Wrestling 2, Jimmy Golden, Robert Fuller, and Mr. Perfect, Jerry Stubb. And so, an ill-gotten victory goes to the Tennessee Stud, Ron Fuller, and his stable. Final main event of the evening, one fall. TV time remaining. It is a whipping match. The loser of this match must stand in the ring and be given 10 lashes by a leather strap by the winner. First of all, making his way to ringside at 231 pounds from parts unknown. Here is the legend at his own time, Mr. Wrestling number two.
And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent, 230 pounds, parts unknown, here is the bully. Your referee, Roy George, one fall, television time remains. Okay, the bullet getting set to go. It's Mr. Wrestling number two. The loser of this match must stand in the corner and take ten lashes with a leather strap. Ten lashes with a leather strap to the loser. I guess you'd call it a captain's mast match. For those of you who are familiar with the uh, olden days of the Navy... And the bullet moving very swiftly against wrestling two. One fall, television time remaining. And the bullet was set and ready. They lock up, collar and elbow back up against the ring ropes. Two misses with a wild right hand and then ducks away as the bullet was set to uncork one. Wrestling two caught in a side headlock now by the bullet. Two masks here. Could be that one of them may come off during this match. No question about that. Uh-uh. Wrestling True drives a knee, a high knee lift. That, of course, is the trademark of Wrestling Two. Wrestling Two straightens up the bullet. Catches him, guts, get him back in the side headlock once again. Say a special hi to Peggy, Ramona, and uh, Shanda, all of Double Springs. Nice to have them with us at the matches. He uncorks one into the throat of uh, Wrestling 2. Wrestling 2 into those ring ropes and the bullet. After that mask momentarily catches him with a hard right hand, staggers uh, Wrestling 2. Puts him to the canvas. And so the bullet, using that massive forearm effectively. Chop into the throat. Puts wrestling two to the canvas and the bullet. Punishing the head of wrestling two. Chop into the throat once again. Wrestling two uncorking a hard right hand, rips across the eyes. Irish whip into the far ropes. Catches him with a shoulder into the midsection. Catches him again. The bullet ducks to one side, wrestling two. Is caught. Got the pinfall. He got the pinfall. That means wrestling two must go to the corner and take ten lashes with a leather strap. There's the leather strap being brought out by the referee, Roy George. Roy George explaining it to Wrestling 2. Wrestling 2 complaining about his knee. Wrestling 2 says he cannot get up. The bullet stands poised and ready. Wrestling 2 coming to his feet. Having a problem maintaining his balance. Wait a minute, coming from behind. Jerry Stubbs and the bullet is caught from behind by Wrestling 2. And wait a minute. 
There's Robert Fuller, Jimmy Golden, Jerry Stubbs, and the entire Tennessee Stud crew. And they've got the bullet. And they are pounding the bullet with that leather strap. So the tables have been turned here. And they are laying that leather on him. Here comes Brad Armstrong. Brad Armstrong pulling Jerry Stubbs out of the rope. And we've got a battle going on outside the ring. And suddenly, the ring is emptied. Tim Horner, Tommy Rich, Brad Armstrong, all hitting the ring at the same time. Here at the set. The well, I guess you saw that. I told you I was going to whip him, and I whipped him. Well, I told you people just the way it was. What do you got to say? Well, before we talk to you any further, let's go to the ring and the winner of that match. Bullet, everybody saw you defeat the man. What is this coming to? I'm going to tell you this. That's the last time you'll ever lay any leather on the bullet's back, and I promise you from the bottom of my heart, the next time, the next time we meet anytime, anywhere, I'm going to swear right now that that hood is coming off. No matter what I have to do, no matter who I have to bring with me, and I won't be alone next time, that mask is coming off Wrestling 2's head, head in it if it has to be. Gordon. I got him right where I want him. The Tennessee stud has given me a bonus, and I'm going to take it out on your height. I told you I was going to whip you, and I whipped you, and I whipped you. And I'll tell you what, now I got you where I want you. Next is your mask is coming off, and that's not a threat. That's a promise. You people, you know, when I speak, it's the law. Gordon, and I don't appreciate what you did in that book, either. Well, indeed. So there you have it. Now, if I may, because uh, he has been injured, he suffered a severe laceration, a uh, cut across his knee that went all the way to the patella itself. And, uh, Johnny, if you'll just come on around over on this side, I'd appreciate it. Because here's a young man with tremendous courage, great drive, but right now out of action. Well, Gordon, first of all, I'd just like to tell you people, thank you for staying behind me. You know, I've had a lot of injuries this week. Thank you very much. I've had a lot of injuries this year. I've been, I don't know what, but uh, last week, last week, you know, these Fullers, you know, they seem to know whenever you have an injury, you know. And the Fuller leg lock, did and it? They try to take advantage of that thing, you know. Well, he managed, he managed to get a hold of it, you know, and bust that thing open. And so I don't know how long, I don't know how long I'm going to be. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, hey. Punk, why don't you just tell him you can't stand on your own two feet? You're out here whining and crying because his little leg is hurt. You ain't man enough to face it. Walk around here and let's see you, boy. Come on around here. Let's take a look at you. Let's see what a whiner we're talking about. Oh, now, come on. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, come on. Golden, come on. Wait a minute. Let's get some help out here. Come on. Somebody give this man a hand. All right, Johnny Rich. And hold it. There's Tommy Wildfire Rich. Ronnie West is out here. And, brother, I'll tell you what. We've got Bedlam and Chaos breaking loose right now. There's uh, Robert Fuller and uh, Roy George and Jimmy Golden. Johnny Rich is down, and Tommy Rich is being beaten about the head and shoulders now as uh, Mr. Golden. And hold on just a minute. There's Steve Armstrong. Steve Armstrong has entered the fray, and we've got complete total bedlam and chaos going on. Wait a minute. Tommy Rich catches Golden. They're off the side of the bed. They're down 12 feet onto that concrete, and the battle goes on. They're off the uh, side of the stage here. The battle goes on, and uh, I'll tell you what, we've got to get some order restored. We'll be back. We'll be back in just a moment. We'll be right back.
When this very special television match is scheduled one fall, there is a 15-minute time limit. Miss Linda versus $40,000. $15,000 in American currency and $25,000 in African gold Krugerrands. First of all, making his way to ringside, he weighs in at 222 pounds from the Royal Forest of Dean. Would you welcome the exotic Adrian Street? One fall, 15-minute time limit, your referee, Roy George. Wildcat Wendell Cooley moving out against the exotic Adrian Street. Wendell Cooley now in charge of Miss Linda. You notice that she was there at ringside assisting him, removing his jacket and his uh, bandana. And it's the exotic Adrian Street who is going to have to remove his own outer garments. The exotic Adrian Street putting up 15,000 American, 25,000 in gold Cougarans. $40,000 to regain the use of uh, his lady in waiting, if you will, Miss Linda. Interesting aspect here. Wildcat Wendell Cooley. About the same approximate weight as the exotic Adrian Street. Street would hold the advantage on uh, uh -uh, very disgusting Adrian Street. Street would hold the advantage on experience. Former uh, middleweight, amateur middleweight wrestling champion of Europe. And Street having a problem here. Cooley stepping outside the ring. And Street tried to get around and get some advantage there. Couldn't do it.
Cooley now with a bit of mimicry. They lock up collar and elbow. And let me tell you something. Don't ever sell this man street short. Brother, he lashed out two quick blows and one to the midsection and ducks between the ropes again. Street wasting no time on Cooley. Takes him off his feet. Ripping across the uh, mouth and uh, catching him in a parcel chancery. Now, uh-oh, clubbing blow. Another one. And Street has let out all stops. He has caught Cooley off guard, in my opinion. Cooley has not been able to uh, recoup on this one at all. Street coming off the ropes. Street driven to the canvas. And now Wendell the Wildcat Cooley explodes with a right hand on the exotic Adrian Street. Street in trouble again. Cooley, Irish whip off the ropes. Kane charging in. Street ducks to one side. Street catches him with an elbow. Cooley to the canvas. Well, the ocular observation uh, during this hour is absolutely excellent. Cooley hurtled from the ring ropes. Referee Roy George warning Street Cooley coming up rather slowly, shaking his head, trying to get those cobwebs loose. Street catches him with a flat of the foot. Street outside the ring charges at him again. Remember, there's $40,000 riding on this one against the services of Miss Linda. $25,000 in gold Cougarans, 15,000 American, and it's the exotic Adrian Street against Wendell Cooley. Cooley staggered again by the exotic one, Adrian Street. Cooley firing back now. Catch a street a couple of times. Drives him back into the ring. Street back to his feet. Plants those boots into the chest. Catching the pectoralis majors of Wildcat Wendell Cooley. Street up on the ring ropes down across the chest again. Near fall, near fall, but he was partially out of the ring. The exotic one. In a total maniacal frenzy. Punishing Cooley once again. Say a special hi to Richard Shirley and the gang at uh, McGee Dodge. As the exotic Adrian Street catches him once again, lateral press. Cooley powers out. Hey, it's Cooley exploding. Cooley catches him once again. Street is down and Cooley has exploded. And it's Cooley catching him with the right hand. Cooley closing in on him. Ah, uh -uh, something happened in that corner. And it appeared 
although I could not see it. Another camera may have gotten a glimpse of that. Another camera may have gotten a glimpse of it. We'll check with our uh, director and find out. But it appeared to me that something caught Cooley from outside, although I could not tell. Uh, let's, I'll tell you what, let's go very quickly to our ring announcer, and then maybe we'll be able to see exactly what happened. Right now, here's our ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time of four minutes and 18 seconds to fall in the match. Go to the exotic Adrian Street. All right, let's see if we had uh, the possibility of a wide shot, a wide angle, or a cover shot, or anything that might have caught that. If we do, I just have a hunch, because of the way Cooley was upended, it appeared to me that perhaps uh, something did happen to him from outside the ring, although we could not see it on that particular camera. And, uh, well, hopefully... We'll see exactly what's happening. And uh, in a moment, we're going to have a word with uh, the exotic Adrian Street and Miss Linda. 